Science. Alzheimer's disease is one of the most feared of all illnesses. It's also currently impossible for doctors to diagnose before it has done serious damage to the brain. But scientists say they've made a major breakthrough in finding a test for the disease, which affects around 44 million people around the world, a figure that's set to triple by 2050. Researchers at King's College London and Oxford University now say, however, that in trials they can identify the disease in 87% of cases. A drug that worked in a preclinical phase would feel like prevention. You'd go along to your doctor, you'd take a drug, and in effect, you would have the clinical symptoms prevented even if the disease had already started in your brain. The new test identifies 10 key proteins in the blood of patients with mild cognitive impairment who will go on to develop Alzheimer's in the next year. The test has been welcomed by Alzheimer's Research UK, which funded the study. But Dr. Eric Caran, the charity's science director, has cautioned that it needs further refinement before being used by doctors to routinely diagnose the disease. You have false positives, which is where the test will say, actually, you have a condition, or in this case, you are liable to get Alzheimer's disease. But in fact, the test is wrong. If this was some benign condition, then one wouldn't be bothered. But we know that a diagnosis of, of Alzheimer's disease is the most feared diagnosis currently. Doctors stress that the test is in no way a cure for Alzheimer's, but it is a step forward. So while it may not help the millions who are currently caring for loved ones with the disease, it may make a difference in the future.